hello sweetie welcome back to my channel today i'm showing sure you know how to make yam porridge at home let's dive into it if today is your first time on this channel you are warmly welcome to my return viewers i will say thank you so much and i want to say thank you to my new subscribers too if you have not subscribed yet please don't forget to subscri subscribe to this channel as you watch as you can see i have cut my yams into pieces yeah into smaller pieces and i wash it twice after you are done washing it take it out and put it in your silver or any pot you have please forgive me for my voice i was not feeling well i have some cold that's why my voice is like this but we cannot stop doing what we love doing so we have to continue bear with me and please support this channel by sharing this video and subscribing to this channel clicking on the notification bell and please liking this video you have to like it and comment down below the things you want to see here or if you have tried our recipes and tell us how it went I will set it on fire and I'll add my stinking fish that is more money to it and I will add my water to it and for this one I already I have already heated the water before adding it you can add cold water and nothing will happen I will add salt to it yeah the salt to your taste because you have to be careful with the salt because you are not going to pour the water out You have to allow the yam to boil and become really soft and the water become thicker. Then you start, you know, with everything. Then you start with your stew. Most of the time, I have two ways of making this. And today, I'm showing you this way, the stew method. So this is the stew method. And later, later I will probably show the other method too. I just added blended garlic ginger and onion and i'll fry it for possibly three minutes i'm adding my tomato sauce this is my homemade tomato sauce so if you want to know how to make tomato sauce at home I will link it at the end of this video so you can make your own tomato sauce. Stir it and leave it for five minutes. Leave it for it to fry for five minutes. I'm adding rosemary. I'm not going to add a lot more. I'll just add a little bit instead. This is my tomato paste. I add my tomato paste and I will stir it and leave it for it to fry for some time. This tomato paste already have pepper in it so there is no need to add pepper again. And this is my fish, salmon. This is my salmon. You can dodge the salmon and use mackerel or sardine or any preferable fish you want. I'm adding my Maggi cube. Then I will add my stew seasoning, any seasoning of your choice. I just added my yam, boiled yam to it, just look at how thick it is. So I'll just mix it together. The thickness was too much so I just needed to add a little bit of water to it to loosen it up so when it, yeah just added water and it will loosen it up I 
I'm just adding fried fish because my husband enjoy this food with fried fish so he likes it this way or just leave it like this and cover for it to be on the heat for about three minutes and we add that just look at that this was delicious no you need to try this recipe you need to try it up I love this. <laughs>